Brenda Thompson coming to you today. Today I greet you in no other name than in Jesus' mighty name. The title of my message to you today is the secret place of the Most High. Where is your hiding place today? If you don't have a, a, a hiding place, you can hide in the secret place of the Most High. My message is taken from 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 1 to 16 and Psalms 91 verse 1 to 4. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead and unto, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew or rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook chariot that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. And I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord, for he went and dwelt by the brook chariot that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening. And he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath which belongeth to Zion, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain me. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks, and he called to her and said, Fetch me. I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a pool. And behold, I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son that we may eat and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me therefore a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus said the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the pools of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah, and she and he and her house they eat many days. And the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the proof of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by Elijah. Psalm 91, verse 1 to 4. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. 
he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Father, I come to you today in no other name but in Jesus' mighty name. Let this message be a blessing to the hearers, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Prophet of God, prophesies according to the word of God. The Bible said that we must try the Spirit. In verse 2 to 7, because of Elijah's relationship with God, God was able to give him specific instruction concerning the future event of the recession. In verse 2 to 7, it says, And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook chariot, that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord, for he went and dwelt by the brook chariot, that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. In verse 7, we see a change in God's provision concerning Elijah. Today I would like to say to you, whatever you are going through, that you are on the verge of a breakthrough. Has your brook dried up because there is no rain? What's going on in your life right now? Has the provision that God has made available for you ceased because of the recession? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. God is not true with you yet. And when you cannot trace Him, just trust Him. God wants to reposition you for your next miracle. He is a miraculous God. When your brook has been dried up, if your brook has been dried up, tap into God. His resources are unlimited. They are available and ready to be distributed. In verse 8 to 16, speaks about the strategy, God's ability to reproduce another supply of sustenance for the man of God and not only for him, but for all those who are facing a drought. Farming because of climate change or the weather. Verse 8 to 9, the spoken word. Verse 9 speaks about repositioning yourself for your miracle. In St. John chapter 5, verse 7 to 8, Jesus said to the impotent man, Arise, take up your bed and walk. It doesn't matter how long you needed your miracle. Receive it. It is available now and over you. We need to stop making excuses and see the moment. 
I said we must seize the moment. In verse 10, the spirit of obedience in verse 11 and 12, communication. We must be courteous. Courtesy is important. It will take us through this life. Verse 12 speaks about a fear of recession. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. Today I want to say, to all those under the sound of my voice, death and life is in the power of the tongue. If you speak life, life becomes available. And if you speak death, death becomes available also. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 20 and 21 speaks about the power of the tongue. We must have faith in God. Jesus said in Mark chapter 11 verse 20 to 22, have faith in God. For whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, our mountains will obey us. In verse 13 to 16, it speaks about the spoken word, the miracle. God has a miracle in store for you. In verse 15 and 16, when the natural realm has failed you, tap into the supernatural realm. Jesus never failed. In my conclusion, I would like to pray a prayer of deliverance and breakthrough, victory, joy, and peace with you. Has your brook been dried up? There is a place of safety, possibilities, and it's the secret place of the Most High. Father, I come to you today. In know the name that in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for a supernatural intervention for all those who their brook has been dried up, who has been affected by the recession, who has been sick for whatever situation, those who have been depressed, those who have been suicidal, have come to you today, Lord, for a breakthrough, for a miracle, for deliverance, on behalf of your people, those under the sound of my voice, please, I pray that you give them their miracle today. In Jesus' name, amen.